Onk Live Insights is a video editorial program produced by Onk Live. NGS Plus is a platform that's used for molecular testing for various cancers. Uh, this is one of the many that are available in the uh, market space. Uh, how one physician uh, does molecular testing depends entirely on the setting in which they practice. In major academic institutions, usually they may have their own in-house panels to do molecular testing, and they would go with that uh, test as the first step. In the community setting, if a physician is not affiliated with any specific hospital uh, where these kind of testing is available, then the commercial assays are what uh, the specimens are usually sent to. And NGS Plus is one of those uh, options that physicians have to test. Uh, this includes uh, molecular testing for mutations. It includes FISH test for ALK and ROS1 in the case of lung cancer. So these are uh, tests that are approved as companion diagnostics by the FDA uh, for crizotinib. The VISES test is the FDA approved companion diagnostic FISH test. So using that test gives you the result uh, whether the patient has the ALK translocation or not. And it also includes certain emerging markers like PDL1 expression. Now with immunotherapies, the role of PDL1 expression in the tumor is something that we are uh, very interested in. Uh, it's still early to know whether PDL1 is the most important predictive marker or not. Uh, but uh, we have now assays looking at, or platforms looking at these kind of information that may help uh, physicians. In those patients with known primary cancers, we, we now know there are specific genetic alterations that we can determine by the NGS plus portion of the cancer treatment uh, program that Biotheranostics offers. This can be used to determine the molecular alterations in known cancers. And it's an advantage in that there are a relatively limited number of genes that are identified, about 50. This de reduces the cost and allows one to obtain the results in a, in a uh, fashion that's uh, a faster, usually anywhere from 7 to, to 12 days. I might also add that the NGS Plus is targeted for molecular alterations which are approved by the uh, FDA, the targeted drugs, or uh, the NCNN guidelines, or phase two and phase three trials. And therefore, they are a little more practical uh, than, than larger NGS uh, programs or platforms. The other question that always comes is, what's the right time to do molecular testing? Do you do it when you diagnose a patient with cancer? Do you do it uh, when you're about to make a treatment decision in the second line setting, third line setting? For instance, if you have a patient with stage two lung cancer who has undergone surgery and hopefully is cured with the surgery and adjuvant therapy, do you do the molecular testing then? And uh, some physicians would say yes. In our institution, we reflexly test every patient with non-squamous, non-small cell lung cancer. But we don't make any treatment decisions because adjuvant chemotherapy is the standard for those patients. Some of them, unfortunately, will recur. And when the recurrence happens, then molecular status becomes important information to have to make treatment decisions. In patients with lung cancer, the guidelines recommend that molecular testing should be done for every patient with advanced non-squamous, non-small cell lung cancer. So we would definitely recommend that for that setting. Now, if you don't have enough tissue, then it's important that you go back and do another biopsy as long as it is safe to do so. Sometimes you have patients who had surgery for lung cancer a couple of years ago and then unfortunately have recurred now. And for those patients, if uh, you have the original tissue from the surgery, it's okay to go ahead and test that specimen as well. If you have a more recent biopsy specimen, that's always preferred. But as long as you know that this is a recurrence from that particular kind of cancer, you can interchangeably use the information. So then comes the question, should we test our patients with early stage disease who undergo surgery? And that, the answer varies depending on 
one investigator to the other. Uh, my approach is uh, it's better to have that information available. Uh, it's prognostic in some instances. EGFR mutations are prognostic. Uh, and it also uh, is good to have that information in case the patient recurs, you are able to start therapy right away. So that is uh, something that physicians will have to decide when they want to do the testing. But certainly in advanced stage disease, which is where these drugs are approved, it's important to do the molecular testing. One can use the NGS plus at the time of initial diagnosis of metastatic disease or later when patients have recurrence. It is now known that molecular changes occur during the course of patients' metastatic disease. They can change. There, this is known in breast cancer. It's known in many solid tumors. It's probably part of the natural history of the way these cancers develop and grow and spread. Molecular alterations and mutations are frequently constantly occurring. So using NGS plus at the time of recurrence makes a reasonable amount of sense to try to determine if there is then an actionable alteration, perhaps which wasn't seen initially.